What's going on, guys? We got uh, Pack vs. G here uh, in Edison format. Uh, I figured I'd give you a little bit of content today since um, I did not make it to locals. Um, I'll probably stream tonight. Just wanted to show something before that. Uh, let's see if I can. Definitely, anyway, it should be fine. These Discord notifications. Um, Alright, so we got a TD Warrior Lady. Now this format is a lot slower, um, but we got two great players here, Pack down here and uh, Christian Urena up here. Um, okay, so he's playing Fish FDK. Just really good deck back uh, back in the day. I believe it's Fish FDK. Um, yeah, you just go like, oh my gosh, yep. You just like spam spam the board. Make claws fighters, make uh, armor arms, something like that. <laughs> um, but it does take a little bit of setup. Um, you need Kolakath, the card that he just put back with uh, Boray of Greed. So we got Heavy Storm for one. Okay, so that Boray is. Alright, it's looking like Pack has the early advantage. He's playing a uh, fairy deck. Obviously, three Christias, three Orange Lights, very strong. He's probably playing all that. Um, He's, I'm assuming he's playing the 2000 uh, attack monster that banished two fairies. I forgot what the name was at the moment. Alright, yep. Substitute's gonna go off. Oh, very strong orange light from pack. That's just too much, I think, too much advantage at this point. Yeah, he's got board. He's probably going to summon something else here. Yeah. Another battle here? Not this time. All right, game one's going to go to pack. Obviously, he had a very uh, strong start. Uh, I'm going to do a giveaway, though, right now. Uh, if you guys uh, tag me on Twitter at 3 minutes, uh, just type at 3 minutes uh, and at me on Twitter, uh, you will win a OTS pack. So uh, at 3 minutes and then at me on Twitter and then you'll win a free OTS pack. Now, this format is... Uh, normally regarded as like the greatest format of all time. Um, I'd say it's it's a really good format. There's a lot of decks. There's no uh, like definitive best deck. Um, uh, defined the best deck. I, I would just say like honestly, a, a lot of the decks have power, but you can literally win with anything. So it's a great format to watch, commentate. I'll probably start doing more um, like this. Uh, we're doing an Edison tournament right now, so I figured I'd just record a match. Oh, yep, that's the Colacanth. So, yep, once per turn, you just discard one card, special summon as many level 4 or lower fish type monsters as possible from your deck, but you cannot declare an attack and their effects are negated. So, yeah, you just synchro with them um, and you just abuse Fishboard Blaster. Yeah, this deck is just crazy. Yeah, this card's insane. And you, like I said, you just make a bunch of, like, Colossal Fighter, um, and then, like, Armory Arm. Okay, so if you guys don't know what's happening here, it's two dupe frogs. 
Um, so you cannot attack. So it's like a lock. Pack would just be playing Light Sword too. Uh, actually, no, because he's playing Shining Angels. He could be playing uh, Super Nimble Mega Hamster. You never know. This is just crazy though on G side. Like the defense is just so strong. He's got he's got a combo ability in his grave. Um, getting this next turn. This game looks like it's gonna go to G, but you never know. Alright, so I guess he's just going for it now. Alright, Cole Hanthus guard. He's only summoning two cards here, it's not that strong. Okay, book the one tuner. Not bad. This board is still crazy. Um You never know though. Alright. Now we're hitting for 32, I believe. Oh, they cannot attack, actually. I'm sorry. Forgot about that. <sighs> so, we got DD Warrior Lady deck. I mean, Honest, honest is a good card with this deck. Too, uh, too Honest. It's not like a bad deck overall. I mean, definitely playing Christia. Seems like it's just like a... Light toolbox deck. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. All right, so we're not using this. This makes no sense here. Where are we gonna get? Okay, yeah. So yeah, he's just playing. A bunch of these guys put four fairies in grave, summon Christia. I remember this deck. He's gonna use this here. All right, that was a good interaction for him. This is the Oyster Meisters summon the tokens. The Black Rose was chilling two or three, because this is one, two, and then three. <laughs> so take her. You get the DD warrior lady back though, right? Oh, this misses timing actually, I believe. When this card just yeah. Yeah, because Soul Taker says take uh target one muster your opponent controls to show the target and then your opponent gains a thousand life points. So the way it worked back then was uh since it's a when effect, you will not be able to activate because they take the, the life points.
normally they uh, started making cards uh, that were all if effects, so it's not really a problem anymore. It looks like Pac's gonna win this one too. A G's deck really takes a lot of a uh, a lot of setup. Okay, yeah, and Christia coming out too. That's gonna be tough. I mean, unless he has another Soul Taker. It's a good heavy. That was a good road. <laughs> Obviously not being able to summon the Stardust. Look at that grave. Can't even summon anything. Cold wave. Or 400. All right, and that's going to be the match. All right, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and uh, let me know if I should be uh, doing more videos like this. Uh, I really do enjoy, like, Edison format, just, like, old formats in general. So I'll see you guys next time.